Hello and welcome to another episode. In this video we will start final to code our first lines of code. But before let's get to know the basic structure of pass call program. Before we study basic building blocks of the Pascal programming language, let us look a bare minimum Pascal's program structure so that we can take it as a reference in upcoming chapters. Pascal's program structure A Pascal program basically consists of the following parts. One program name, it's the first element we attribute in our program. Two uses command, it defines the libraries we will assign in our program. Three types declarations, it specifies the data types we will use. Four constant declarations, it specifies the unimmutable and constant data types we will use. Five variables declarations, it stores deference values for different data types. Six functions declarations, it has a specified name for a block that may contain one or many lines of code. 7 Procedures Declarations, it has a specified name for a block that may contain nested lines of code. 8 Main Program Block, it refers to the body of our program where most of our code will be written. 9 Statements and Expressions within each block, it refers to loops, sets, pre-built functions and so on. 10 Comments they are used to make our code readable to other developers and it helps a lot to find our UA in the code. The comments are ignored by the compiler. Every Pascal program generally has a heading statement, a declaration and an execution part strictly in that order. So make sure you respect that specific order. The following format shows the basic syntax for a Pascal program. The entire program is composed from two elements. The head and the body. The head of the program contains the name of the program, then the uses libraries, global constants and variables, the functions and finally procedures. You can stop the video and check out the structural graphic I made, this will make you understand the basic structure a lot better. Then the body it holds up most of the code within the program source code and its begin command ends with the word and followed with a full stop. Let's see an example to make you have an idea about a simple program. Pascal Hello World example. The following is a simple Pascal code that would print the words Hello World. As you see we started by typing the first word of a Pascal program then we typed space before assigning a name for our program. In this case it's hello world in one word then a semicolon to stop the command. In the next line, as we saw in the structure we type uses, word to tell the compiler that we want uses some libraries, in this case we use CRT library it is unit provides sproutings for programming in text mode, and yes there's drag and drop mode as well but we will see that later. We finish the command of course with a semicolon. The comment in green can be written in two ways either with simple brackets or brackets plus stars as we did in this example. The comments are totally ignored by the compiler, they are just there to help others while reading your code. Finally the body of the code we type the command begin to start the program and end with a full stop point to tell the compiler that it's the end of your program. In between the last tags. Begin and and we will type tab to get some space from the edge then type the first command write ln with brackets. It's a Pascal language command that tells the compiler to write what inside its brackets to the program, then single quotes inside them, though we insert a text inside, finally a semicolon. The last step is to insert one other pre-built function from Pascal which is Reaki which tells the compiler to finish the program when a key is typed put a semicolon to end all this work and that's it. All you need to do now is to compile it and that's what we are going to see in few. Now we will compile the same code example we just saw, using a CMD console. The FPC command refers to free Pascal compiler. Compile and execute Pascal program using a command line or a CMD. Right click on the desktop space and hover on new tab. Select text document. 
a document file will appear on the desktop. Change its name to tutorial underscore 01.txt, then click on the desktop to save it. Open the file with a double click then tap the following commands. Program space hello world in one world then a semicolon. Now our program name is hello world. Now type enter to go back to the line then type the word uses to specify the library this time we will use CRT, it's a library that will give us access to lot of Pascal pre-built functions. Next step type the word begin to begin the program, then enter, then the word end, with a full stop to finish it. Make space in between, type tab to make space from the edge of the window, then type right lane with brackets. It refers to write a line, then within the break it's a couple of single quotes then type any text you want. When you finish put a semicolon to finish the command. Go back to the line and once again tap tab and write a read key with brackets then a semicolon. Save the document as tutorial underscore one dot pa. Open a command prompt and go to the directory, where you saved the file. Type fpc space directory slash tutorial underscore 01.pa, within the command prompt and press enter to compile your code.
If there are no errors in your code, the command prompt will take you to the next line and will generate tutorial underscore 01 executable file and tutorial underscore 01 dot object file. Double click the executable file and the code will be executed. The text you wrote will appear. Congrats you just made your first Pascal's program using console and FPC command. Now let's try to do the same thing but this time using Lazarus IDE. First double click on Lazarus IDE icon then wait for it to load up. Next step go to file tab on the menu and select close all to delete the default program. Next step go back to file tab on the menu and select new, then select simple program from the tree list menu, then click ok. Select no to not save the default program. Delete the pre-written code and start typing. Program space hello world in one world then a semicolon. Now our program name is hello world. Now type enter to go back to the line then type the word uses to specify the library. This time we will use CRT, it's a library that will give us access to a lot of Pascal pre-built functions. Next step type the word begin to begin the program, then enter, then the word end, with a full stop to finish it. Make space in between, type tab to make space from the edge of the window, then type right lane with brackets, it refers to write a line, then within the brackets a couple of single quotes then type any text you want. When you finish put a semicolon to finish the command. Go back to the line and once again type tab and write read key with brackets then a semicolon. Now go to the top tools menu and clock on the green arrow to compile our program or press F9 on your keyboard. If you save the program before compiling it you will see the executable file as well as we saw with the command line. Now let's go back to our board to explain all this once again. Let's check the various parts of the R program. The first line of the program program hello world, indicates the name of the program. The second line of the program uses CRT, is a preprocessor command, which tells the compiler to include the CRT unit before going to actual compilation. The next lines enclosed within begin and end statements are the main program block. Every block in Pascal is enclosed within a begin statement and an end statement. However, the end statement indicating the end of the main program is followed by a full stop, instead of semicolon. The begin statement of the main program block is where the program execution begins. The lines within, will be ignored by the compiler and it has been put to add a comment in the program. The statement write in hello, world, uses the write in function available in Pascal which causes the message hello, world, to be displayed on the screen or console. The statement read key, allows the display to pause until the user presses a key. It is part of the CRT unit. A unit is like a library in Pascal. The last statement end, 
ends your program. Let's get into the summary of this video. Basic structure of a Pascal's program Example of Pascal's program Compiling our Pascal code using FPC command console then Lazarus IDE. Creating our first simple executable software. Thanks for watching, please like, subscribe, comment and share.